Do you want to challenge your players to go fast? Do you have a scene that needs an extra time challenge? Then you need a countdown timer for your game, which is why in today's video, we will be making a countdown timer for your game. First, we need to go to your character blueprint and in the event graph, we can drag out an event tick node. Next, get a delay node set to one second. And make two variables, one for minutes and one for seconds, and make them integers. Next, compile and set a default value. I will set one minute and ten seconds. So I can test everything. Next, make a branch node. Then, for the input, take our seconds variable. Put it in an equals block set to zero. Then from the false, we can drag out our seconds again and take a subtract node set to one followed by a set node. Next from the true, drag out another branch and for the input, check if the minutes is zero. False, drag out a subtract node and a set node for the minutes to subtract one from the minutes. Then you can set the seconds back to 59 so they count down again. Now back in the content browser we want to make a new UI and call it timer UI. Then open it. Now just drag out a canvas panel and drag out a text block anchored to the top middle size to content named minutes. Put zero zero in the text and position it. Now do the same thing but make it have a colon. Then copy the minutes and rename it to seconds. Then position everything to look nice. Then select the minutes and next to text choose create binding and go to the event graph. Now from the construct graph drag out a cast node to the character and use a get player character node then from the as pin drag out a remote to variable node and call it player ref then from it back in the minutes binding drag out the reference and get the minutes then connect it to the output Next, in the arrow on the two text node, set to the minimum digits to two, so it will always show a leading zero if needed. Then put the same code in the seconds binding, but use the seconds variable. Then you can save, compile, and close. Now back in the content browser, we want to make a new UI and call it Reset UI, then open it. Now just drag out a canvas panel and drag out a button in the center of the screen with an anchor in the center also. Then just drag out a text block and make it say retry on it and select the on clicked event. Now in the event graph just drag out an open level and type the name of your map in the node. Then save and compile and go back to your main character. Then from the true on the minutes hitting zero drag out a create widget node and an add to viewport node set to the UI. Then unclick context sensitive and search for a set 
show mouse cursor node set to true and for target drag out a get player controller node then drag out a set game paused node set to true also and compile then save finally go to the level blueprint like so and from a event begin play node drag out a create widget node set to our timer ui and add it to the viewport then save compile and hit play now you have a full and complete countdown timer for your game if you have any questions please leave them below or in my discord server if you like the video and want to see more like it every week please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified if you want to help me financially you can join my patreon and get early access to my videos and other perks the algorithm thinks you'll like the video appearing now so why not watch it i hope you have a great day and bye for now